All right, let's talk about the elephant in the server room. The one with glowing red eyes and a brain full of algorithms. I am talking about AI. And before you label me a Luddite, even Sam Altman, OpenAI CEO said it, and I quote, when bubbles happen, smart people get overexcited about a kernel of truth. And now, even I'm here to tell you something that a lot of rich people don't want you to believe. The AI bubble is going to pop, and when it does, it's going to be glorious. Why, thank you, thank you. I know I just stated what everybody already knew and talked about the last four weeks. Why am I so confident? Because we've seen this movie before, multiple times. Same thing with the dot-com bubble in the late 90s. Companies with no revenue, no viable product, just a dot-com at the end of their name. Getting billion dollar valuations. Everyone was convinced the internet was going to change everything overnight. And if you weren't in, you were out. Then poof, reality set in. Same thing with crypto. Blockchain was going to revolutionize everything from finance to supply chains to your grandmother's bingo night. NFTs were going to change digital ownership. Billions poured in, Lambos were promised. And while the tech itself had some valid uses, the speculative bubble for most of it popped. While we're in the topic of AI, a really good resource to learn about AI is Scrimba. Scrimba has a really cool learning approach on their platform where the video is also an IDE. And you can edit your code in the video in real time with no setup required. Their project-based approach and partnerships with domain experts including Hugging Face, Mistral, and Langchain make this the perfect step to upgrade your skills as a software developer. Check out the link in the description to get 20% off or just check out the tons of free courses they offer. It's really cool. And now we have AI. This AI bubble rests on three shaky pillars, hype, over-evaluation, and the lack of genuine innovation at scale. Let's take a deeper dive. Pillar one, unprecedented hype. Every single company from your local bakery to multinational corporation suddenly has an AI strategy, and every product now boosts AI-powered features. Even if it just means it has a really complex if-else statement. Every startup is an AI startup. Even if the core overing is just wrapping an existing API in a slightly shinier user interface, the media is relentless, fueling a narrative of inevitability that demands investment now. Pillar 2. Ridiculous over-evaluation. We're seeing AI companies often with limited resources, questionable profitability, and, and still developing products, getting valuations of tens of billions. Investors are throwing money at everything with AI in a pitch, desperate not to miss out on the next big thing. This isn't based on fundamentals. It's based on the fear of missing out and the promise of a future that may or may not arrive at a preferred timeline. They're betting on a dream, not a balance sheet. And history shows us dreams don't pay the bills when the market turns sour. Pillar 3. The gap between hype and practicality. While AI is powerful and is changing things, the actual practical, profitable applications at scale is far narrower than the hype suggests. Yes, ChatGPT is amazing, but how many companies have successfully integrated it in a way that truly replaces human labor or creates entirely new, highly profitable markets beyond content generation and customer service bots? The cost of running these models is astronomical. These data requirements are insane, and the ethical and legal implications are a minefield. Many of these solutions are either expensive and marginally better than existing non-AI solutions. For example, Literally all paid AI versions, if not for a few extremely niche companies or people who truly utilize the right functionality to make it worth the cost. It's niche and not scalable to justify the valuations. Apart from the few industries that require coding and solving homework that doesn't involve any medium complexity mathematics, it's pretty inefficient and not worth it. It's just interns with a search engine, wrapping human effort in an AI label especially the tech industry, suddenly rendering entry-level positions obsolete because some AI model can basically perform comparable to a junior dev. But here's the important question. Where the will future senior devs come from to guide these relentless juniors? Oh, an AI is a horrible human resource alternative. Please stop that nonsense. 
When the AI bubble pops, the charlatans, the opportunists, and the AI washing companies will be exposed. What will be left are the genuinely innovative teams, the ones building real solutions, solving real problems, and quietly pushing the boundaries of what AI can do.